Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss how to pass parameter to routes. In the previous video, where we have discussed about the router link and apart from that, even we have discussed about like how to uh, like navigate from one component to the another component. And basically we have discussed how to create the route and through that router link and router outlet, how we can navigate. In this video, we will discuss how we can pass the parameter from one route to another route. Now for an example, like I have the student information. Now let's understand with an example. So this is the previous uh, video where we have created uh, these information. So when we click on the student, we have a couple of the student information. So now what we are going to do, when I'm going to click on the view of any record, we want to see the full detail related to that student. So that uh, we are going to uh, see in this video. So basically what will happen if I will click on any view, it will take the respective ID and it will go to the next page where we will see all the information related to that particular user. So that we are going to see and the basically we, we will see how to pass the data or the ID. So in the Angular basically there are the two ways through that we can pass the uh, parameter. One is the router snapshot and another is the router observable. So uh, like if we talk about the Angular 4.0 like the previous version, so uh, we have like a param map is basically uh, like a property through that what it do basically like uh, it used to have only one method previously but now it has two method one is the get and another is the get all. So get method basically help us to get if we want a specific uh, like data one value and get all is basically for the multiple value as parameter now if we talk about the router snapshot so what uh, basically it contain it basically give the snapshot of the current route now for an example like uh, uh, I, i'm i'm currently on a one page like uh, we have navigated to the one page using the router snapshot so what it do it uh, like take that id value and it does not change uh, the parameter basically so in a bit we will see like what is the problem with router snapshot so uh, like that is the basically a drawback with this but this problem is, is basically um, like uh, overcome uh, like using the router observable by this we can resolve whatever the issue we face with the router snapshot so in this video we will discuss about the router snapshot and in the next video, we will discuss about the router observable. So let's understand how we can navigate uh, from one component to another component with the parameter using the router snapshot. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. And this is the basically uh, the design which you are seeing on the browser. It's basically we have already designed here in the previous video. If you want the source code, you can go to the uh, my GitHub link. And you can find that link in the description section as well. So there you will see uh, like the HTML and the code related to this one. So yes. So now uh, like we know we are uh, currently we are having these tabs. So to navigate from one component to another component we have created the routes. And those routes we de de designed in the app.routing.module.ts file. So here now what we want to do we want to navigate like basically when in the student page we have this information when i click on this view we will navigate to the another component and that component basically like uh, we have the student details i have created here now for that one what we have to do we have to create the route so what i'm going to do let's copy this one and here we have to change this path so to change this path like how it should be so basically this will be like student student details and one so like this like one is the basically id and student detail is the component name so this should be the url and when i navigate to this one it will like basically get the data and respective information it will show so for that one that is the student slash student details so that we have to write so that like this we have uh, given as a student details and now we have to pass the id so to pass the id we put the colon and then id so this is the way we pass the id using the a path now if you want to give more parameter then again you can give slash and then like for an example name 
if you want to give the more parameter again slash colon and anything like id1 so this is the way we can even pass the multiple parameter to a particular route but as of now we need are looking only for one so i will uh, like uh, we will be keeping only one parameter now like when i navigate to this one so we have to go on the student uh, details component so that is the way now so this is the way we have defined the route now now the next thing is route is defined so when i will click on this one so basically now what next we have to do we have to uh, navigate from one page to the another page so for that one in the view so this is the view so through that we have to navigate so how we will define here so to define here like what we have to do we have to use the router link here so this router link and after that we have to use the absolute path so for this one slash slash basically in indicate to for the uh, like basically absolute path now we have to copy this one so because this is the path it should not give any mistake like the spelling mistake so i'm just copied now we have to pass the id so basically id will come from this student so here you can see like we are making the loop so this student id will come and we have to use the interpolation for this and here we have to use the user id so basically the user id and we know like we have defined here the json file and here we have the parameter user id so now so uh, now uh, with respect to this student we are good like we have defined the router link and the route um, router um, we also we have defined now the next thing in the student details we have to design and we have to get this id so i'm just going to open in the html so here you can see in the html side i have already created an html uh, format so like it will save over time so here we have like basically this uh, name and all these things we are having and through that like currently my like uh, like uh, I, I will say the dummy html i have created now in this student details dot component dot ts so here what we have to do so to do here we have to take a let's take a parameter one is the details so in this what we will do we will assign the data and let's take another parameter that is the student id or we can say the user id so user id and that is also any i'm taking now another way like in the constructor to get the data using the like the snapshot we have to take one parameter and that is the activated route what is the meaning of the activated route so basically the meaning of the activated route is basically the route which is activated currently so we are going to uh, take uh, that uh, like variable name and the type of this will be the activated route so that is the way now to get the data uh, on this activated route basically what we have to do we have to use this dot now we are getting the user id and how we will get this id this dot activated route dot snapshot dot and then we have the get so like this we have the so after this first will come the param map now it will now as i saying it has two parameter one is the get and another is the get all so currently we are passing only the uh, get and we want one record so get i am using and then we have to pass the id so through that like basically what we will get we will get the current user id now another is basically what we have to do we have currently the service now if you will go on this service what we are doing we are getting all the data from that json file so what we have to do we have to call the service and through that we will get the data so here let's create private service and the type of the service is basically student service so that is the angular 15 service name so angular 15 service now this service basically how we will get the data is this dot service dot get all student details and we are going to use the subscribe 
and now here let's take the data and based on that we are going to get the data now this data we will assign under a one array so what i'm going to take i'm going to take the student info and the type of this is basically array type now here this dot student info is equal to the data so this is the way like first what we are getting we are getting all the json data that we have seen in the previous video as well now with from this one we will filter the data so this dot details equal to this dot student info dot find and then we are going to use c dot user id equal to this dot student or the user id basically we are having now here you will see it is giving one error and the reason is what it is saying the parameter c is basically has an any type so what we have to do here we have to define the type of this so to define the type of this let's do it this way so this is the way now this like for a particular user id what we have done we have taken the all the student information so now when you will save this currently we have the static data here so here instead of all this information what we have to do we have to change this data so to change this data like what we have to do we have to use the curly basic here i have the image so now here what we have to do we have to use the uh, using the interpolation we have to get the data so all the information is inside this one so let's take so details dot i have the images so this is the way we can do so now to like uh, do it fast i have already put so details you can see like here we have used the curly braces first name the last name i have defined here so here we are using all the value we are getting using the interpolation and all these value is basically defined in the json file and now let's save this and go on the browser so if i will go on the browser let's uh, go to the student first and if i will click on this view so we will see the related information all the information is coming like this now again go and see for this record and we can see the respective information is showing here so this is the way basically like what we are looking we are seeing all the information as expected we can see and this is the way we are passing the parameter and you can see the this path is basically student student detail and the id uh, we are uh, seeing here so this is the way we can pass all like the parameter from one component to another component and we can get all the data as expected now uh, if we talk about the problem which we have uh, on this uh, snapshot and the problem is like basically it does not change the like uh, basically a parameter it always take the initial value so to understand this one that's what i'm going to do here i'm going to take a one link and this link is basically go to the page and here what i'm going to do i'm going to use the router link so router link and here what i'm going to do i'm going to use like basically so from where i want to uh, go is basically student so this is the student and then I, I, i'm going to pop like the basically let's copy this route so this student and i want to pass the id as one so this is the way i'm doing now let's save the changes and go on the browser so let's see what is the error here so basically i think we are using this one we have to use the absolute path now let's save this and see again what is the problem what it is saying so it is saying error occur on the template component okay and we have missed in the single quotes now let's save this now i have saved this now if i will go on the browser at the down you will see there is a one link here you can see let me so here you will see this is the link when i so currently we we are on the five and we have given the one so when i click on this you can see here the parameter is changed but we are still on the old detail and the reason is basically it is not refreshing this id 
and that is the problem with the snapshot it's not a basically a bug but it's a feature of the uh, like uh, angular and the thing is like basically this id is um, like refresh when we call on, on the ng on in it and this ng on in it it call once uh, when we uh, come on particular component so here you can see we are not changing the component name we are on the same component but we are changing only the id so here it is changing the id based on the route but it is not uh, getting all the information basically it is not refreshing here and it is not changing the value so that is the problem with the snapshot and like basically it keep the initial value and it does not change it so that is the problem with the snapshot and that problem basically we can resolve using the router observable that we are going to discuss in the next video so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you